concur with the comments of my colleague, Deputy Jackie Cahill, in regard to the ill-informed commentary that goes sometimes in relation to farm food production and the, in, its contribution to climate change. Um, thankfully, over many decades, there has been a huge investment by the state and by the farming sector in modernising their farming techniques and lowering emissions. Recently, there was a report from the Food Vision Beef and Sheep Group, and one of its proposals would uh, provide for a sharp reduction in the suckler herd. That's not acceptable under any circumstances. It's a huge contributor to the rural economy and to our export earnings, similarly with the dairy sector. And again, the lazy and ill-informed narrative from so many um, areas in regard to climate change and the, the role of food production and farming techniques does not take into account that if Europe substantially reduces its food production, then food will be imported from other systems, particularly South America, where their farming systems are not near as sustainable as we have in Europe. So we need a balance in this debate. And we also need an assurance to the farming community and to the food industry in general that they will be able to, con to continue to, to produce food in such a good, progressive way and that their food production systems will not have to be reduced. Go back to 2009 when we started to grow substantially um, um, food exports. The f um, Food Harvest 2020 provided for a sharp increase in food production. And let us remember that during the years of a very serious economic downturn, that was that sector provided very, very valuable and much needed employment in every parish in this state. Thank you, Akhan Gorda. Deputy Smith equally joined in with Deputy Cahill in respect of our food production system um, and in terms of um, our, our broader system and the need uh, to grow the industry uh, sustainably. I would point out that over the last decade or so, the dairy industry has grown exponentially uh, from wherever it was when quotas were removed. There's been exponential growth in the dairy industry. That has to be factored in as well. But again, um, up around the border area in Cavan, Monaghan, we have some very innovative entrepreneurs in food production and poultry in particular. Um, I discovered that uh, the silver duck uh, is the dish of choice in Singapore, uh, and, uh, um, and the choice. Discerning people in Singapore, no doubt about that, and apparently it lends itself culturally and so on to the methods of cooking. So there you are. Um, and um, um, yeah, it's, it's just like. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs>